coming. Partyspoiler.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't spoil your party. I was waiting for them. I know my limits, you know. I think that for everybody, for a woman, whether you're married or you're not married, you have to know your limits, certainly, because of who we're created and how we're how we created. And so now that you're married, as much as he, there's no pushing around, you just have to you do whatever you want to do, you know, and everything. I know when I'm going too far. I know when I have to back out and everything. But he, he has, doesn't have a problem at all with me. He's like, ah, please do your thing. Just go ahead and do your thing, you know. I think it's just an understanding of what you do. And yes, I mean to me, in Yemejuma at all. Uh, Sadiq, it's good today. You are not sitting. Once you are standing... Well, Sadiq is here. I didn't see you. <laughs> you didn't see the tallest no, man in the building? No, I didn't see you. Okay, I okay. Sadiq, can you come in with your... Uh, Alaji. Yeah, yeah. Alaji. All right, good. Please be brief. I think I have to... Um, I need to emphasize on that. <laughs> um, for me, um, everybody knows on these shows that I've been very big about artists getting involved in um, social Please impact speak projects. Please speak up. <laughs> so um everybody knows that i'm very um particular about artists getting involved in social impact projects yes. and running campaigns and so often i when artists get here I, I get to ask about i mean some of the campaigns they're working on or certain peculiar stuff mm -hmm. um needed to know from you what you think of as a very respectable female artist what you think of child marriages mm. And if you know about statutory rape, for instance, what what you make of child marriages and statutory rape, okay. and if it's if it's something that, as an artist, you would want to take up to champion. Okay, I mean, as an artist, it's not something I've delved into. However, I have a bit of knowledge about it, and I know you know uh, the importance of us discussing this. Um, not to offend anybody, especially coming from the Muslim community, I understand that even before some children are you know at the age of nine, ten, they are already married. I personally do not you know um, second to it at all because I believe that a child needs to grow to a certain point where they're adult enough to decide on what they want to do. Not everybody's even cut to get married. Forcing a child into getting married, first of all, is wrong. Um, I also believe that people have to mature, get to a certain point where they know that, okay, this is right from wrong. When you throw a child or a girl who is very young into getting married to somebody, um, first of all, already going into bed with a person, I feel like it's rape. You know, for me, I think it's rape automatically. Because I don't think any child at that age, at 11 or 12, would understand, you know, the, the, the institute of marriage you know, and what it comes with and how to even understand what it is to cater for a man. You know, they're already, you know, kids, who, ch children who probably just are in their menstruation, just probably not even have their menstruations yet or are just getting into, getting to have their menstruation. That is why for me, I've actually, actually embarked on a project where I'm actually going into schools about menstrual hygiene, educating girls on menstrual hygiene, because you realize that a lot of people nowadays, menstruation is a taboo. People don't talk about it in schools. And that's something I'm championing in. Um, people don't talk about menstruation in schools. So in the 2007, I went round to, I educated over, let's say, 11,000 students, both in Accra, Kumasi, you know, um, on the importance of keeping themselves hygiene, in, the importance of menstrual hygiene practices, making sure they are good, because it all results in the end to maternal mortality and things like ovarian cancers and all that when they don't take care of themselves. And so that's what I'm championing. That's what I, I know that I want to make sure people, um, girls are educated. When you go to schools as well, you see that there's not even proper you know, um, sanitation places. People, there's no toilets there. How do girls even go to school? And that is why, because in in initially what I wanted to do is I wanted to pay for girls to go to school. And then I thought about it. I said, why am I paying for girls to go to school when there's a fundamental problem? So when I was searching, I realized that one of the main problems was because at the time of the month, girls didn't want to even go to school because there's no, they are, first of all, they're shy. It's like a taboo. They don't know what to do. They have male teachers sometimes who they don't even know how to say, I want to go into the bathroom. And also when you go there, they do not have proper toilets. They don't have it. Sometimes it's just one and they have to walk all the way and go in queue. So girls were staying home, let's say seven times in a month. They were staying home because they didn't want to go to school because we're shy of this. I'm championing for that. Again, I don't second for child marriages. At all, I don't second at all. I have not delved into it to search on other things, but I believe people think it's culture and it's religion, and so they do it. And a lot of things are covering, are covered. They use a lot of things to cover it. And for me, I don't think that now that I'm a mother, I don't think I'll be delighted to know that my child, who is barely a teenager, has been forced into marriage. I feel like it's a campaign I can definitely embark on that no child marriages, we should not encourage people to marry kids, children 
look at the word children, not even or sexually engaged young or sexually people. engaged young young girls. They do not understand these things. Say, say, even adults sometimes you don't even understand their sexuality. How much more a child who does not know anything is definitely what you call rape. People think rape is just pinning somebody down and sitting on them and penetrating them. That is not what you call rape. Rape is when this is that's part of rape, but rape is also when somebody is not is not consensual. They do not want it. But however, Junior. they just have to lay down for you to just do it. And I personally believe that is not appropriate. And so inviting all of you, if we must campaign, we must all go out to make sure this is you know it, this is stopped. I think we should all do it. It's not just in Ghana. When you meet a man that has engaged in statutory rape, yes. somebody that has probably slept with somebody below a consenting minor. age, a minor, yeah. consenting age. Mm. Consenting age here is say, 18. Yeah. So below a consenting age, that's statutory rape. Yes. What would you tell such a person if you happen to be there for somebody that has slept with somebody that's below a particular age that probably has led to childbirth? What would you tell the person? You're sleeping with your daughter. And that's Imagine bad, right? sleeping with your daughter. That's bad. That is bad. Just imagine it's your daughter you're sleeping with. That's all. Okay. And when you think about that and you can sleep, then you're a monster. Obviously, well, because 15 year olds or 16 year olds aren't in a good place to take care of babies. At all. Okay, that's fine. Right. Yeah, please come in. Mm. <laughs> Dot <Partyspoiler. Dot> com. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's amazing. Uh, when I saw that we having Becca on this platform, I was very excited. All right. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the word. I was very excited. Mm. Why I was excited is that uh, the Becca that I know work with her for almost like six Let's years. Six years. I know the kind of person that she is. So when you wake up mm. one morning, and you see a whole lot of things going on social media. I get a bit, you know, a bit down because... I know the two people that are involved. I know Becca's mom, I know herself as an individual. Uh, personally, on this platform, I want to ask my lady, what exactly has gone wrong with lady and mommy? What exactly is the issue? Well, I mean, thank you for that question, Ernest. You're the only one that can ask me that question because you've known me for a while and you know the sort of person that I am. And I think that if anybody knows who I am, they'll know that I'm not... Um, That's a very emotional yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. It's emotional. I think you probably need to give her some answers. No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's supposed to be so because we need to end this matter. It's okay. I'll allow her to tell. No, 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 no. But she has the right to determine. Please, please. please. No, no, I, I mean, a person, I'll, I'll, it's I'll, my, what I was going to actually say is that, you know, the woman in question is my mother. Do you understand? And I would never, under any circumstances, sit on any platform to talk about my mother. I love my mom so much. Anybody that knows me knows that. I would love somebody who is not even my mother. And so I love her so much. I don't think it's even appropriate to even have a discussion about her on this platform. I would like everybody to respect her at that time. I know this is a family matter and it's definitely going to be solved at home. And that's, that's one thing I want to say. That's all. That's all that I have to say. Thank you. Positive. Hits 103.9.